What's up guys, Visual here, but you can call me James. And in this video, I'm gonna be showing you guys the best way to create a logo design without the use of Photoshop. So guys, before we do go ahead and get started with this video, I would just like to quickly mention that this video is in association with the website Design Hill. As many of you know, I'm very selective when it comes to choosing companies to work with, and I believe Design Hill is going to be a very helpful website for a lot of you out there. In order to sum the site up, basically, it's an online logo maker, and it can create you a professional logo in the matter of minutes without any Photoshop experience whatsoever. In this video, I'm going to run through a step-by-step -step tutorial on how to actually create yourself your own logo using this site however before i do get started i would just like to add on that of course this website is not going to be useful for everybody if you are a professional graphic designer and you create yourself your own logos using programs such as illustrator then this website isn't going to be very useful for you however on the flip side to that if you're starting up a brand new company for example and you have no experience in programs such as adobe photoshop and illustrator and as well as that you don't want to go through the hassle of actually um, hiring a graphic designer you literally just want to be able to create the logo yourself then this site is going to be useful for you okay so moving on I'm currently on the website here I will leave a link to it in the description down below or you can simply type in designhill.com once you are on the website make sure you're at the top of the home page and you will see a little blank box that says enter your company name now all you have to do is of course enter your name so I'm gonna put visual arts and then you press that yellow generate logos button and once you do this it will start the process the site does use an artificial intelligence to create your logo design so what this means is it's all done on the site basically all you have to do is follow the steps and it will be made for you as you can see here the first step is to pick five or more design styles that you like so first of all I really like this second one I think that looks really clean um, not all of these do stand out to me so I'm just gonna select the five that do so there's two there is three and four and number five there we go and once you are done you can press that green continue button at the bottom to move over to the next step the next step here is to actually choose our colors so it says select three colors you'll like your designs to explore so i'm going to go with black and also red because that does match my color scheme and i am also going to select white and then once we're done i'm going to press that continue button there what is your company name i've already put visual arts as you can see there you can also add a slogan however that is optional i'm going to leave that for this one and then you can select your industry so i'm going to find one that does suit me the next step is to search and add up to five symbols that of course relate to your company so i'm going to type in graphic design in the search and um, just see what comes up and i'm going to go with some that i think look good so let's go with that one i really like that pen tool one here so let's go with that and as you can see in the right hand corner they are adding up all five of them so i'm just going to find three more okay so there we go we now have five symbols if you do wish to remove one it's as simple as pressing the x but i'm going to continue from here okay so there we go my logos are now completed in order to continue Continue, I'm going to go ahead and sign up for an account really simple just your name and your email so I'm going to input that now once you have finished signing up you can now view all of the logos and I'm just going to say straight off the bat of course a lot of these are not going to appeal to me but there will be some that will definitely stand out to you and your company however one of my favorites is going to be this one um, because I just think it looks really clean so I'm going to press edit logo on this and we can move on to the next step as you can see now we have a load of different options um, we are on the preview tab here here. and as you can see we have the logo in full screen we have the logo on a t-shirt mock-up we have the logos color palette which I'm a big fan of to be fair and um, also more mock-ups using the logo which I think is really nice because you get to see what your logo does look like on for example different products so now what I'm gonna do is move over to the edit name and slogan if you wish to change your name then you can do so you can also add your slogan if you forgot to before and um, you can also change the font if you wish but I'm a big fan of the font that they use so I'm going to stick with that as well as this you can also edit the colors of your logo as I said before I'm a big fan of the logo color um, so I'm actually going to stick with it how it is and you can also add a symbol if you wish okay so here is the finished logo for the tutorial um, I'm really happy with this one so if you do wish to purchase your logo that you've made all you have to do is head over to the right hand side where it says buy press that green little button and it will come up with the different package options 
As you can see here, there's three different options you can choose from in regards to the payment. You can do the basic option, you can do the premium and the enterprise, and also it does list all of the key features to each one on this menu. Once you do select your option, you can then add add-ons, for example. Um, so say you're a business and you need a social media kit as well, then you can choose to add that onto the purchase and then you can make the payment and it's as simple as that. Anyways, guys, that is it for the video. Hopefully this did help you. However, I do understand, as I said, at the start of the video this may not appeal to everybody anyways if the video did go on to help you then make sure to leave a like that would be much appreciated as well as that if you want to see more videos like this and more tutorials in the future then please consider subscribing to the channel with post notifications on and you will be notified every time i upload a brand new video and finally guys if you are looking to improve any of your graphic design skills then i definitely recommend you check out my design store i'll leave a link to it in the description down below anyways guys that is it for the video hopefully you did enjoy this has been visual or James and I'm out. Peace.